welcome to the Hit John Global Campus. Uh, we just wanted to give you a tour today, um, just so you can get a sense of what to expect, uh, the layout, and what it looks like here if you come to teach or study here, that kind of good stuff. So uh, let's go for a walk. So this right here is the faculty housing. So this is where we're staying. So these are all two bedroom, two bath apartments. So a lot of uh, faculty and faculty family who are staying here. And let's walk around. Okay, so from this point on, the wind got worse and it was too noisy, so I'm gonna do a voiceover. So this is the dormitories. I'm also speeding it up. That's where the boys and the girls dormitories are. So they actually separate the two, so the boys and girls are not allowed um, to go in between. Here we're looking over the hedge to where there's a street across the way where there are multiple malls and shopping areas. Right now I'm walking through the tennis court and looking up at another student housing a dormitory. I'm not sure whether that's male or female dormitory. I see multiple people coming out. You know, I assume it's segregated as well. This ramp we're seeing right here is the cafeteria, uh, the roof of it anyway. And this building uh, to the far end, the tallest one, is the IGC building, which is the guest house where faculty and uh, guests are. Uh, this is the inside of the cafeteria, so they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner there at a very reasonable price. Um, a lot of Korean dishes are housed there. You can see the kim kimchi there, uh, dish return, all that good stuff. So outside of there, um, right now we are coming up inside as well to the cafeteria still. A little walk around, uh, nice location. That's me walking away. And so that's the cafeteria. And we're going to continue our stroll. Like I said, this round building here is the IT section as well as the library. Uh, that is FIT. It's the Fitness University. As well as you can see the corner of the University of Utah building that we're walking up on. This is all sped up because uh, I don't normally walk this fast. Um, but I wanted to get through this thing as quick as possible. There's a notch out of the top of this building that's kind of cool uh, to make the whole building uh, look like a U walk through the center. So that's where I'm teaching uh, this summer, teaching some level design and some uh, game asset classes, uh, modeling and texturing, the University of Utah placard here, and as you walk through this section, uh, straight ahead is Ghent University, and to the right there is the George Mason University, and the building just to the left of Ghent is the uh, art school. I haven't been in there yet, but it, uh, the brochure says it's the art school. Here we are coming to the uh, other side of the University of Utah building. Got to give it some advertisement there. Really nice. I'm super impressed for how nice the facilities are in there. And, of course, a little pose in front of the U. This uh, rounded building you see in front is auditorium, so there's a huge auditorium space there for um, graduations and such. You can see the guest housing there towering up above as well as we come across the, uh, the building where um, <clears throat> SUNY and some of the other universities are. That goes down into the uh, sunken plaza, but we're going to walk around to the side of it. You can see here there's an elevator going down, there's the library once again, and some of the multi-use buildings. This is the sunken plaza. So from the outside here, you have entrances to a lot of community stuff like the uh, convenience store that's on campus that's open most of the time. You can get supplies and food as well as a nice little coffee shop that sells some pretty awesome pastries. Uh, there are billiards for students and faculty um, to play as well as a lot of open space as well for different kind of startups and stuff. Uh, here we have the gymnasium and swimming pool area. And we don't have a video of it, but off to the other side of that, there's also a soccer field for playing. So the gymnasium here has a pretty large basketball court that you're going to see in just a second. And off to the right there is the entrance to the, the swimming pool, which has several lanes for, for swimming uh, open at different hours. So there are some students in there shooting hoops right now. And this is the entrance to the, the swimming pool, which we're going to show. Here we are going down into the sunken plaza, so we're going to show you a little bit of the convenience stores and billiards that we looked at earlier. As we go inside, I'm probably saying 
doing something super witty and fun at this point. Um, we'll go inside there. Uh, this time when we're walking through, there's a huge open area here to the left. It looks like uh, one of the universities from uh, Canada was putting on some uh, summer workshops for high school students. Uh, one thing in Korea, you'll notice a lot of uh, underground spaces that are very utilized. I think it's because they have really cold winters and they still want to um, not have to walk outside. So there's a lot of underground opportunities. All right, here we're coming on to the right. <clears throat> we'll see the billiard center. Pretty cool, we can go in there and shoot some pool. Nobody was using it when we were there at that time, but it's for faculty and students only. <clears throat> I don't have a key card to get in there. Here's the, the market convenience store. I've been here many a times, uh, especially at night when I need something quick. They've got some stationary electronic supplies, little odds and ends, ethernet cords, um, phone cords and that stuff. Um, and then the convenience store stuff, like the, the rice foods and chips and noodles and all anything you can need for like a quick snack. Coming across here you see the the num num coffee shop. We're gonna take a little tour in there. Uh, they've got breakfast sandwiches, honey bread, um, bagels and croissants, all that good stuff. And then coming up through the stairs this will conclude our tour as we head back towards the faculty housing. Um, to the right, once again, you have uh, the State University of New York, SUNY, and um, Sunnybrook University, as well as FIT, as you walk through this corner here of those universities. It's the library straight ahead. As we conclude, you can see once again the uh, faculty housing straight ahead where I am living. Cafeteria on the right again, and the left here is the dormitories. Okay, so that's the tour of the Global Incheon campus. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I came here. 